I just wanna let you know that this video is part of our career accelerator course on cybertrainingpro.com. So if you enjoy the content and you wanna see the full course, head on over to cybertrainingpro.com or check out the link that's in the description. All right, let's do this. One of the problems that every professional in information technology, cybersecurity, or really any field is that over time you gain skills that eventually no longer are used. Chances are high that if you're watching this video that you've started to question your ability to retain information long term and that's why you're curious about how to maintain the information. In this video, we're gonna deep dive into the situation that you find yourself in and give you the solution to fix the problem. First, we're gonna talk about skill development in general, and then we'll move on to the problem and potential fixes or solutions. Okay, to start things off, how do we actually develop skills and learn the knowledge that we need? Well, the first step in any career is to build or develop skills. We do this through certifications, training courses, and degree programs. Depending on where you're at right now, you've most likely built up some skills in areas like networking, operating systems, information security, and so on. If your brain was a bucket, you'd be filling up the bucket with water or knowledge, but that bucket is a fixed size and it can't get any bigger. As you change jobs or even job areas, you start to develop even more skills and possibly stop using some of those old skills. Learning knowledge is great, but what's the actual problem that we face? This is where the problem comes into play. We can't maintain everything that we learn because we only work in a specific area where some skills just aren't useful. You can't tell me that every skill is worth keeping around in all areas of cybersecurity. It's just not the reality. With that being said, there are certainly some skills that you'll want to keep semi-fresh because they're closely related to your job or your targeted career path. Before we go any further in real life, identify what those close skills are and prioritize them based on what's most relevant to your career path. Okay, let's shift gears now and start talking about the fixes or solutions to maintaining these skills that are unused. The first fix is all about labbing. Throughout your time learning different skills, you've most likely performed some kind of lab exercises. Go back through your notes and look at these labs. Ask yourself, are these labs still current or have they changed? If the labs have changed, for example, if a new operating system was released, then find the new ways to perform those labs. Then every so often, run those labs again. Some labs you might run once per month or every couple of months just to keep the knowledge fresh on the current procedures. Certain labs require more time to perform, but if you can standardize the prerequisite setups like starting configurations, it's gonna make life way easier. All right, let's move on to fix number two. Fix number two is to volunteer. Now don't take this as generic volunteering because obviously that wouldn't necessarily help. I'm talking about volunteering somewhere where you get to do the skills that you're trying to maintain. When newbies are starting out, we tell them to volunteer at places like churches or nonprofits, and you can use that same strategy here. If you're working in a company, then you can volunteer for other projects or to help out the team that uses those skills. For example, you might work in IT, but volunteer for the information security team. Internal volunteering could create conflicts of interest, so you have to be careful, but it is possible. Let's take a second to talk about Cyber Training Pro. Are you tired of overpaying for cybersecurity training? Are you interested in training from industry professionals? Are you looking for cybersecurity career services? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then cybertrainingpro.com is the perfect platform for you. At Cyber Training Pro, we're a one-stop shop for all your cybersecurity needs. We can train you for industry certifications or just improve your overall knowledge and skills in a certain area. Unlike other platforms, we don't stop there. We can also coach you throughout your career, practice your interview skills, or create a high-performing resume with our career services. Cybertrainingpro.com isn't just another training platform. Students get exclusive access to our private community where we go beyond training courses to provide additional content, tips and tricks, and engagement with both other students and staff. Look, by the year 2025, there could be as many as 3.5 million job openings in cybersecurity. With so much opportunity, why not maximize your career potential with a platform that cares about your success? Come join us at cybertrainingpro.com and start building your future today. All right, let's get back to the content. So far, we've covered fixes one and two for labbing and volunteering. Now it's time for fix number three. Fix number three is to pursue certifications not just any certifications, but higher level certifications. Now, many certifications allow you to retake the current exam version of that certification to automatically renew it, but generally that's not a good idea. Higher level certifications are good because they renew your knowledge on certain areas and they show advancement in your knowledge on your resume. Now, I put a few certification logos on the screen. I'm not necessarily saying you have to get these exact options, 
but it's more of a general strategy. We've covered almost all the fixes, now let's finish it up with fix number four. Fix number four isn't for everybody, let's be honest. This fix is all about teaching others because it forces you to not only understand the material, but it has to be fresh in your brain. Basically, if you're teaching, then you'll have to review the topics that you previously learned and not just the labs. This can take a lot more time if you do large topics or areas, but it certainly can be valuable. Now, I don't usually recommend fix number four unless you've built up a solid knowledge base of the topics that you're teaching, but it's certainly a strategy that helps keep things fresh. Additionally, if you can teach a subject and answer student questions, then you'll know it fairly well. Now we're onto the learn phase of this content. Ultimately, in the information technology and information security career fields, you have to keep learning. It's likely that you're gonna forget things or get rusty on certain subjects, even more so if you don't use them. Over time, certain skills are also gonna become obsolete either because technology changes or because of your career evolution. That means that you'll have to prioritize skills that you wanna maintain and ditch the unimportant ones. Personally, I wish that when I was starting out, people had mentioned the idea of maintaining skills so that I knew what to expect. Question of the day, which strategies do you use to maintain your knowledge that you don't use regularly? Let me know down in the comments section below. I hope that you'll use these strategies to help keep your knowledge and skills fresh. You might only use one of these fixes and that's perfectly reasonable, but at least you'll have multiple options. Remember, you don't have to hold on to every single skill or piece of knowledge. Focus on the ones that matter and you can always relearn the others if needed. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description for more resources related to this video and I'll see you next time. <music>